Hi, Bob. Hi. So I was listening to your story earlier about how uh, they almost weren't going to approve Megatron because they thought the name was too scary. Yeah. And it made me think, about four years later, um, there was a two-headed Decepticon dragon with the absolutely amazing name of Sinner Twin. Yeah. <laughs> if Megatron was too scary, how did that one get through? No problem. I mean, really? you also have to remember, so, so when, when Hasbro started out with Transformers, it was a new product to them. Um, I don't remember, like, Allison Shinners, who was also in that TV show, um, um, The Toys That Made Us, she was the product manager who I think broke the news to me that they didn't like Megatron initially. Um, and, and so I don't know where they, you know, I don't know what Allison's job was before that. She might have been working on, um, on, 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 on dolls or something. She, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But this was like new territory to some of them. So I think once they became aware that Transformers was this universe of these big, powerful creatures, robotic creatures, you know, just pummeling each other, I think it expanded their, their consciousness a little bit. That, you know, you had to allow for other ideas. Everything couldn't be sweetness and light. You had to allow for some other ideas to enter into, uh, into this world. So Sinister Twin was not a problem. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah.